This definitely isn't gonna go badly. Let's go through my lips. So many strings hanging off. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a new vlog. So this week's video is finish, fix or frog. Um, I'm not the creator of this idea, it's been done many many times before, but I have quite a lot of works in progress. So I thought we could go through them and see what I want to finish, what I need to fix and what just needs to be frogged. Uh, if you don't know the terminology, it means to unravel it. So <laughs> these are my works in progress. There are three boxes of these. Uh, actually no, just two boxes and there's one in another box that's with yarn. We're gonna go through this and see if there's anything worth keeping. But I guess without any further ado, let's just jump straight in. So I might as well start with the first thing, which isn't a wearable thing. Um, it's actually a blanket. I think I might've mentioned this on the channel before, but when I first started crocheting and knitting, I was convinced I was going to be into making blankets. I was so sure that they were going to be my main thing that I was going to make. I was going to end up with so many beautiful blankets, but as I think many of us might have experienced, we start a huge project and we kind of just lose motivation, which I've done with a couple blanket projects. I have frogged one of them and repurposed the yarn for something else. And there's this one, which I just can't quite bring myself to frog. So it is this beautiful blanket here. It is called the Hue Shift Afghan by Knit Picks. Um, and I bought a kit for it and it is gorgeous. Like look at that on the camera, it's just so nice. And it's gonna look really beautiful. I'll put a picture up here of what the whole finished thing looks like as well. Um, and like I fell in love instantly with this and I'm still in love with it and I would really, really like to finish it because it's quite a simple thing to work on. You kind of make four of these big panels and you stitch them together and it turns into a really beautiful rainbow pattern. But as you can see, I didn't get very far. Um, I was quite new to knitting at the time and it was it's a really simple project to pick up but um, I think it was my mum she went and read some reviews because um, she was quite curious about the project and googled it a little bit and there were some reviews saying that people didn't have enough yarn to finish it um, from the kit that they bought so I think I got a little bit put off by that as well and scared that I was going to run out of yarn. I don't think it's that much of an issue, um, especially knowing a bit more about knitting now, I think it would be alright. And also because I was kind of new to knitting, it's not the neatest, like I can see that my tension kind of changed in places, like it was quite loose to start with and then I kind of got the hang of it in here, like these ones are quite a lot bigger than these ones and so that might become an issue down the line but hopefully once I've blocked it, it would be fine. So yeah, I'm really keen to finish this. I would like to finish one blanket in my life if that's the only blanket I ever make, that would be lovely. Like this would be such a worthwhile blanket to make. Um, so yeah, really simple pattern, really beautiful. We'll see if I finish it. All right, that's the only blanket pattern here in here that I, well, I think that's the only blanket pattern I have in here. Let's go for a deep dive and see what else is in here. <laughs> This is, this box is such a mess. Um, all right, might as well bring this one out. <laughs> this one, this one was disappointing. Um, so I've had a few friends that have had babies recently and I was really keen to make some baby clothes for them, um, but I've never made baby clothes before. I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, this, these were meant to be some little overalls um, and I was following the pattern and the, I'm pretty sure I did a swatch and it ended up how it was meant to, but they're very small. <laughs> they, I think they're meant to be quite a lot wider than this and I think that would block out, but um, yeah, in hindsight, I'm quite glad I didn't finish these because um, my friend who I was making them for her baby is quite a big baby and I don't think these would have fit even if they had been the right size of what I was making so they're really cute um, but I might need to repurpose the yarn for something else um, but the pattern is really gorgeous it's called the dandelion overalls uh, I'll put it on the screen I can't remember exactly um, but yeah really gorgeous pattern and I would really love to make baby clothes one day as well because my boyfriend's sister recently had a baby and so yeah I'd love to make something for him as well maybe for Christmas um, he'll be one year old at Christmas so yeah that would be really a beautiful thing to do for him but 
yeah um yeah these were a bit of a fail unfortunately so i don't know why i still have them knitted up to be honest they really just need to be they really just need to be frogged and i need to repurpose the yarn for something else all right next thing <laughs> I almost don't want to show this one on camera to be honest because I'm kind of embarrassed about it. Um, not embarrassed, I don't know. It was it was an experiment. I don't think it went well. Um, yeah. So I've got this here. It has a grey cuff on the bottom. So a while ago I was subscribed to, what was it called? Knit Crate. Um, which I think recently is no longer, but it was a yarn subscription service where you could get two uh, two skeins of hand dyed or just like specialty yarns um, that you wouldn't probably get elsewhere. Um, and I got a, love, a lot of lovely yarns, um, but because they're only two skeins, it's kind of hard to figure out what to do with them. You also couldn't pick the colors that you received either. So you could pick either cool tones warm tones or neutral tones. There was also a, like a option just to get anything. So I think I picked that option. And so I'd often get, I've had some really beautiful yarns from there before, but this one, <laughs> I'm not sure about this one. Um, and so this was an experiment to see if I could make a vest out of it. I was using um, well, well Loved Knits uh, V-neck um, sweater vest pattern. I was trying to pair it with this very thick wool, which also didn't work very well because this is so much thicker than what this is. It just, it was kind of a bit of a disaster to be honest. And yeah, uh, when I get really fed up with the project, I just leave it and put it in my, honestly kind of my discard pile to be honest. <laughs> I'm also, yeah, I also just don't know what to do with this yarn because it's very bright and very, I quite like it, like from on the camera, sorry, I've got my feed from my camera on my computer just so I can see what the viewfinder looks like. But from a distance, I quite like the way it looks. I just wish it wasn't this bright, bright blue. And like, I really like blue, but this this is a lot. <laughs> I will repurpose the yarn and find something for it. Just a little bit unsure what to make with it. So this is what we've got next. <laughs> I didn't get very far with this project, but it is really beautiful. Our local craft store is called Spotlight. And so I saw this in Spotlight and was just really, really intrigued. It's a 100% rayon from Bamboo. Um, it's called Truboo from Lion Brand Yarns. And it just feels amazing. Like, I'm, if you've ever felt Bamboo, it's quite uh, cold to the touch. And this yarn, like no matter what, it's still cold to the touch. It's really interesting. Um, and it's also just really, really soft. And so I wanted to give it a go. Um, but if I'm trying something out, I can never commit to buying more than two skeins. And so I just put myself in this predicament where I don't have anything, I don't have enough to make much. So I did find this pattern. Um, it's for this kind of a lacy top. It's all crocheted. Um, but I remember that I was having a lot of trouble with this pattern. And no matter how many times I did the rows, I just ended up with too many repeats and it would just end up with too many increases, I mean. Um, and so it would kind of go a bit floppy. I mean, it's meant to be the yoke of the top, so it's obviously meant to go out quite a lot, but I would just end up still somehow messing something up. Kind of just the thing of like two steps forwards, one step back kind of a deal. Um, and so yeah it wasn't going very well but it is a really beautiful looking pattern um if i can find the pattern i'll put it on the screen i'm assuming i have it somewhere unless it was a free pattern but yeah i think it would be really beautiful let me just try it on and it just has so many stitch marks in it i i think if i picked this project back up again i would just need to start again because i don't know where i was or what i was doing Yeah, like you can see that this is kind of just too ripply. I've definitely got too many increases in here somewhere. It's not meant to look like that. It should be nice and flat, but it's not. So I don't know what I've done wrong. Maybe um, I probably made this like two years ago. So maybe I might have enough, um, a little bit more experience with this kind of thing that I might have a bit of a better time this time, but it would be really beautiful. And I think it looks really nice in this um, aqua kind of turquoisey color. Um, but yeah, I think I would just need to pull it apart and start again. So this one is one for the thick pile. <laughs> All right, what have we got next? I guess this one's worth mentioning. I obviously didn't get very far. Um, 
I was definitely making a top, I remember that much. Um, and it looks really nice. I don't know if you can see the details there. Can I get it to focus this close up? Maybe under my chin. <laughs> Um, yeah, really beautiful. Um, it's got these sort of repeats of stockinette stitch and moss stitch, maybe? I don't remember what the pattern is. Again, I'll, I'll always put them on the screen if I can find them. If they're not on the screen, I obviously couldn't find it. I'm not sure about this yarn. Um, I think it might have been... I think it might have been... We are knitters or something like that. I think it was something that I added onto an order when I was getting something else. It might have been recycled or something like that because it has quite a rough feel to it and um, it's quite structured. So I also just don't know whether it's really suited to a top. Um, I think maybe maybe this would be more suited to like a bag or something like that where it has a lot of structure because this doesn't like stretch at all um, and I don't know if this would feel very nice being worn. Um, so I think this would be a lovely pattern but I don't think it's whether I want to make it in this yarn. Um, so yeah, I guess kind of a fixed pile because I'd like to make the pattern still, but not in this yarn. So I guess that kind of be, goes to, into a fix. It's getting frogged, but I'll still make the pattern at some point. Just not this. I don't even know the conditions to my own rules. Quick coffee break. So this is definitely the project that I made it the furthest on. Uh, <laughs> It is a huge project. It is a wearable. Let me take my jumper off so I can try it on. So this is a top. <laughs> there is a lot, a lot, a lot of fabric to it. It's massive. There's also a ball of yarn I'm holding somewhere that I don't know where it's gone. Oh, there it is. It's an absolutely beautiful pattern. I completely fell in love with it when I saw it um, on the creators page on Instagram. Um, and I pretty much immediately went and bought the pattern. Um, and I still really love the look of this, but I don't know if it's for me. <laughs> it also weighs so much, and so I don't know if it's whether I'm using the wrong kind of yarn for this. Um, it's just really heavy. I swear it must weigh like a, one or two kilos at this point. It's really, really weighty, and I did buy quite a lot of uh, this yarn. There are 50 gram balls, but I'm pretty sure I bought like 16 of these to, for this pattern. Um, so yeah, really beautiful. Um, and I even got as far as the, hang on, let me put, let me put it on. If I can figure out how to put it on. Hmm. It is nice. I really wish my camera had a viewfinder so it didn't look like I'm looking off in the distance. But yeah, so this this is the pattern. It obviously needs buttons in the front. So it's meant to be buttoned in the front and it's meant to be just worn as a top, not like a jumper or anything or a sweater. Um, but there is just, there's just a lot going on and I just don't think, I think if I was to wear this as a top, I would just spend my entire day just fixing it and trying to make it sit right. And I also live in a place where it's only appropriate to wear like singlets like one week of the year. It's very windy and not, it's summer's not that hot really here. So I just wouldn't get much of an opportunity to wear this. Um, I actually don't know whether it would be that cool to wear because it's, again, it's a lot of fabric. It's very thick. Um, so I think the problem might be with me. I think I might have just used the wrong kind of yarn for this, but I didn't have access to anything that was thinner than this in a cotton. Um, I also think I added too many ruffles on the bottom. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the pattern. I think it was all me, and I also just think that my taste in crochet patterns and clothing has changed since I bought this. And even then, I think I might have just bought this out of kind of like blindness. Um, I, yeah, I, I really like the pattern. I will put the pattern here. Like it's, it's beautiful and absolutely gorgeous on her. Um, she does an amazing job, but yeah, definitely not, not the pattern's problem, but I think I will be repurposing this yarn. So I will be frogging this and using it for something else. I do already have something in mind. Um, which is this one here. I saw this on Instagram like two days ago and I'm in love and I don't think I'm being blind with this one because it is quite simple and it looks quite easy and I think it would look really nice in this yarn. It looks like it should be a pretty good fit for this kind of yarn. So we'll see. Is purple my colour? I don't think my purple is really my colour. 
I don't know. Um, oh, I've trailed yarn all over the floor. Please go buy it if you like this, because um, it is gorgeous and you might have access to better yarn that isn't quite so heavy. So yeah, really beautiful pattern, but just not for me at this point in my life anyway. We've gone through a full box, except for I have a bun whole bunch of like starter granny squares. Um, what else we got in this mess? Nope, not playing that out yet. Oh, nope, that's something else. So I have two of these tops. A while ago I made a top that was quite meshy <clears throat> um, and kind of different colours on every row for each um, of the mesh rows. Um, but before I committed to making it and like cutting the yarn and figuring out what I wanted to do, I made two solid colour sort of tester ones um, and I really like them but um, the yarn I was using for them I got from a really cheap store um, and that store doesn't currently sell this type of yarn anymore. Yeah, I'm running out of both of these yarns unfortunately so I don't think I'm going to be able to finish them so I guess it's time to frog it and start again again <laughs> unfortunately but yeah, I could turn it into a crop top or something because like it looks it doesn't look too bad like over a shirt maybe um or like one of those are they called boleros where they you just like kind of stop here and then add sleeves maybe i could try that um because i really like this pattern um i don't know if this one was the best one um because i made two and i think the other one might have been slightly better fitting um but this one was still cool i quite like how the um levels of mesh change Looking at it in the viewfinder, it's quite interesting. I have this much of the yarn left and I'm pretty sure I have another partial skein left as well. So this obviously isn't going to go very far, <laughs> um, but I do have another skein, which I was kind of using in another project, but it doesn't need to be used in the other project. So yeah, maybe I'll put this in the finished pile for now because I do quite like how this looks. Yeah, this one was slightly different. I think this might have been the better option. Yeah, this one is fits better for sure, I think. Um, it's got a little bit more room around the sides. It's not really my kind of colour. I prefer brighter colours and I think I would wear it over a shirt and it doesn't really look great over this like black shirt. So I think this goes in the frog pile. This one goes in the frog pile. The other one goes in the finish. Okay, this is another one I got really far in and I don't really like it. <laughs> Uh, so I think this was a Wear Knitters. I'm pretty sure this was a pattern from Wear Knitters. It wasn't, um, it was just the pattern, not a, uh, not a kit. Um, and it's, it's nice. Uh, it's okay. It's meant to be kind of a slouchy jumper. It's meant to be quite oversized, kind of meshy. Um, it's the first time I've ever done kind of like, it's a little bit lacy, like it has a few like lace knitting um, techniques to it, which was quite fun. Um, I haven't really done much lace knitting at all in my time. I was getting really annoyed with the pattern because it wasn't really telling you the best way to like cast off or cast on. Um, and like the way you cast on and cast off really affects how stretchy it is. I'm pretty sure I tried to use a stretchy cast off, but obviously what I did was not stretchy. <laughs> that doesn't stretch at all. Um, and I think I was kind of newish to knitting at this point. So maybe that was my fault for choosing potentially an intermediate pattern. Um, let me just try it on quickly. Yeah, so it's meant to have a collar up there and obviously it's got sleeves. I think I did, it looks like I did start on the sleeves. Um, but again, I didn't cast on, like this is not very stretchy, it's not going to work very well. And this is a cotton yarn, so it also like, it needs a stretchy bind off, or maybe just the stretchy bind offs work in cotton yarn, I assume so. Um, but yeah, it's just, I also just don't think this is my style either. Like, it's very slouchy, I don't really wear slouchy clothing. The cast on edge is just really, really stiff. So it just brings the whole thing in. Um, but I had the first sweater I ever knit was sweater 18 and I'm pretty sure that had a stretchy cast on. So I don't know why I didn't use that. <laughs> or maybe I did and it just doesn't work in cotton yarn. I don't know. I still don't know much about knitting to be honest. <laughs> Micro crochet is my jam. Knitting is not. Um, but yeah, I think this is going in the frog pile. I do like the yarn and I will use it for something else. I don't know. I don't think it's purple is necessarily my color, but we'll I also remember that I dropped a stitch in the bottom here and I just had to like hold it by a safety pin until I figured out how to fix it. So there's also that. 
Okay, well, I think this is our, actually our second to last project, so we've done quite well. Um, this one I'm definitely going to finish. This is definitely going in the finish pile. I just don't have the... I don't have the motivation to finish it right now. Um, I was filming a vlog for this and I did get quite a way through filming the vlog, but I filmed this quite a few months ago when I wasn't very good at YouTube. I still don't think I'm very good at YouTube, but I'm a little bit better at talking to a camera now than I was. Um, and so I was trying to film the vlog, like giving verbal updates to the camera rather than what I've done recently, which is just kind of like captions. And maybe I can salvage it that way, but I just, it's just awkward. <laughs> I, I hate watching it. I can't edit it. I I just can't watch myself. Um, I, ha I don't have that much issue watching myself now, but I was trying to emulate kind of like a Jennifer style vlog or like a Rachel Maxi where you do a little bit of an introduction, um, you intro introduce the project and you work on it a bit and then you give like every so often, you update every so often. Like it's not all talking, but yeah. Um, and I just, I'm not a very good judge of how often to give updates. I still haven't perfected that either. I could either do an all talking video or a no talking video and I just, I struggle to find the in between. <laughs> um, and so I think with that vlog, I would just, I was just stopping way too often to give updates. Um, and they were kind of nothing updates. And I know I can cut most of that out of the vlog, but it's just a lot of effort to edit that kind of video. And yeah, but anyway, I will show you what this project is. Um, so it's going to be a sweater. As you can probably tell, it's a scrappy sweater. Um, it is a very scrappy sweater. This is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, for sure. Um, but I was really enjoying this, actually. I was really enjoying how this was turning out. Um, so I don't know which is front panel and which is back, but um, this doesn't go together. But essentially, there's going to be two front panels and two back panels, and it's going to be stitched with white down the middle. I actually have a... Um, an iPad drawing I made before I started it and I really like how the drawing turned out so hopefully the sweater turns out something like that. I have so many cotton yarn scraps that I needed something to be able to turn them uh, to be like able to chew through them a little bit because they weren't fitting in my storage. I have just gotten more storage which is perfect but um, yeah I needed some more space to store other stuff so I was trying to find a project that would chew through a lot of them and this worked. <laughs> it's not chewing through as much as I would like, but maybe if we do a couple different projects of this, maybe like a bag or something after this. Um, but I haven't added sleeves yet um, and I'm not sure. I think I'm going to sew it together first and then grow the sleeves off it. I'm really excited to finish it. I just got discouraged because the vlog wasn't turning out how I wanted and honestly maybe I should just scrap the vlog and just make this sweater. I don't have to film it. You guys don't need to see it necessarily. Maybe you don't want to see it because <laughs> the sweater is a lot so it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea and maybe I should just be a project for myself. That is another one for the finish file. Definitely going to be finishing it. Just don't know when. <laughs> There's one more project. I need to go grab it. So this is probably the most intricate knitting project I've attempted. I think, kind of, I don't know, it's actually not that intricate, it's a lot of just stockinette stitch. But this is the Anchor Tee by Petite Knit. This is the first Petite Knit um, pattern I've ever tried. And I really love this pattern, it's really quite simple. Um, it was actually really easy to knit so far. Um, the one thing I always struggle with is adjusting my sizing for the yarn I'm using because this yarn isn't the recommended yarn but I don't have I can't get the recommended yarn so um this was what was this this was knitting for olive cotton merino um in something what color way are you in the color rust which makes sense um so yeah this is the anchor tee uh, I really love this um but I have had to frog it a few times just up until this point because I couldn't get the sizing to go onto the arm nicely, like it, whenever I did it, it kind of doesn't fit very well. Um, but we've got it quite well now, um, and I might actually go try it on for you. It's got the needles in the arms, but okay, nice. Um, this stripe obviously doesn't belong here because this is, um, I don't know if you're familiar with knitting, but this is like a safety line where you like thread yarn through it so you can more easily frog back to that point. Um, and then you don't have to try and pick up your stitches and lose stitches and things like that. Um, but this seems a little bit tight. 
I had to redo the sleeve quite a lot um, and maybe I still need to do a little bit to it but maybe it might grow a little bit when I block it um, anyway I really like how this fits um, the body is really good now um, I added quite a few stitches to it in the end uh, just to make it fit me really um, and yeah I got up to the sleeves I decided not to finish the uh, ribbing down the bottom and opted to do the sleeves just to make sure that they were at a size that I liked uh, which I may not have gotten quite correct yet because they do look quite tight <laughs> I hope you haven't tried this on for a good little while. Um, but anyway, we'll figure it out. This is definitely going in the finish pile. <laughs> Maybe the fix pile. Um, but it should be nice. should only be a small fix, hopefully. Maybe I can just add a few stitches somewhere. And it might also just be that the needles are sitting in here. So I'm not sure. But we'll, fu we'll figure that out. But it's a really lovely top and I really want to be able to wear it. I wanted to fin finish it uh, during the summer, but didn't happen <laughs> um, but that's okay uh, we'll get there we'll get there I just have so many mini projects on the go um, I've been going micro crochet crazy as I always do when am I not micro crochet crazy I started micro crochet like three years ago and I haven't stopped so I might as well finish this in a work of progress because that seems fitting <laughs> thanks ever so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe I make all sorts of videos and I have a lot of plans coming up I also sell my crochet earrings on Etsy if you're interested. I also have a micro crochet tutorial if you want to try and make some for yourself. I have a coffee page where you can buy me a coffee if you feel like supporting me and I'll give you a shout out in the next video. But other than that, I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye.